Hello, and welcome to another double review of some Popper Parade statues, and today the theme is Black Rock Shooter. It's, um, honestly, it's something I didn't think I'd see a lot of merch for, especially these days, because uh, it's kind of big in the day, obviously, when the music video was very popular of the song uh, Black Rock Shooter, uh, which is a Hatsune Miku song. And, of course, there was the OVA a couple of years ago as well, but... After that, I kind of expected to fizzle out a bit, but I am thoroughly impressed to say that there's two Black Rock Shooter themed pop-up parade statues. Like, that's pretty cool. So today, we are going to take a look at both of them. That is, of course, Black Rock Shooter herself and Dead Master, the kind of antagonist bad guy. If you don't know what Black Rock Shooter is, of course, um, you know, it, it, it's worth looking into. I mean, the music video alone is beautiful. But the uh, eight-episode OVA kind of mini-series was also really good. Um, big fan of that, along with um, one of my friends, shout out Glenn, who uh, is sort of the, the biggest Black Rock Shooter fan I know, out of two people. The, the other one is me. So, um, so yeah, as with my last double review, what I'm going to do is take a look at each of them individually um then you know i'll take a look at them together and stuff how they scale up and everything obviously they're all going to be in the same rough scale because popper parade are kind of anyway but anyway without further ado let's start taking a look at the packaging so i'll put dead master off to the side for a second and we'll take a look first at black rock shooter um so first off i've got to say big props to the packaging um I know, I know it's a little thing, but they've really got the colour down. They always do this, which I really like. Obviously, the main two colours of Black Rock Shooter are black and blue. If, if you don't count her skin, I guess, technically her skin, uh, you know, is present more than her clothes. But still, hey, who's complaining? So, uh, we've also got, there says, Burak Rock Shooter. Um, and this is, of course, by Good Smile, as it says to the side there. This is Pop-Up Parade. And that's the bottom, uh, very, very sparse bottom there. And on the back, we've kind of got her colour coding. I think I've worked out exactly where these are now. So that is the Black Rock Shooter background, the like tiled black and white. And those, I guess, are her main two colours. And that's maybe her third or whatever, because, you know, she's a very pale... She's a very pale schoolgirl, according to the OVA. Um, although technically she's not a schoolgirl. This is just her mental... Uh, character who fights in a different world. Anyway, now let's take a look at the packaging of Dead Master. Hey, there we are. So this is a bit of a tall one, uh, as you can see. It's sort of uh, it's a lot taller than Black Rock, but it's not as wide. It's very strange. Uh, there's lots of duos I've noticed that do that now, but whatever. So once again, the packaging is uh, great with the colour coding. Black and green, of course, is Dead Master's uh, out outfit kind of. Theme, there we have Dead Master again, Barakarok Shooter. Uh, we've got Good Smile on one side, we've got Pop Up on the other, the sparse thing. And who? Who main ones are white and green? I don't think they are, it's pretty much black and green, really. Okay, don't, maybe I was wrong then, but I mean, there is black there. Uh, and of course, as with the Kamina and Simon ones, I think these might sync up. Alright, I was wrong about that. Um, they, they don't sync up at all. It's a bit weird that the black isn't like the other side for one of these. Because that, that, that would look cool. Because they are kind of rivals or enemies, so however you want to phrase it. And also friends in school. Anyway, uh, I'm now going to free them both in their plastic prisons. And we're going to take a look at each of them in detail and stuff. And then there'll be that photo montage that everyone looks forward to, I, I hope. Um, right, so... First up, I think we're going to focus on Black Rock Shooter. So here she is, out of her box. Okay, I have assembled her, and uh, man, this is quite the statue. So we're going to uh, take a look at all the details, obviously, up close and personal. So, first off, the base is uh, black and slightly, slightly translucent, but, you know... Um, Honestly, part of me mildly kind of wishes they'd done a blue, akin to the blue there, and the, you know, blue on her eye. I think it would have popped a little bit better, because this is a very dark statue. Um, however, that's that's nitpicking, you know, the, the base doesn't really make the figure. Uh, so, I hope you guys are ready for lots of leather and lots of high heels, which is the first time I've said that in a video, and probably my last. Um, 
So, we begin, of course, with Black Rock Shooter's shoes. Now, um, much akin to the Ranmi Take from Bang Dream uh, Papa Parade statue I did a while ago, uh, they have really nailed the kind of leather look. At least, I hope that's what they're going for, because it's very, very shiny black stuff. I'm going to move from that from the background, actually. Hey, there you go. Right. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty darn good. We've got all the little... Uh, Details there, even the like uh, little furrows of the leather, very nice. Then we move up to her very skinny legs. Um, Black Rock Shooter is not a, she ain't a thick girl. Uh, I'll I'll give her that. So her hot pants or whatever you want to call them are also kind of leather effect kind of stuff, and her belt buckle does have a bit of a metallic kind of effect. Now under there, there is of course the goods. Uh, which is her, her uh, jacket, that's what I was referring to. Right, okay, let's uh, go on up. We do have, uh, we have a sculpted belly button uh, for all of you cultured gentlemen and ladies out there. Uh, we have sort of a peak of the sort of bikini top, I guess it's kind of a bikini she's wearing, I don't really know. Um, which again has a very uh, like leathery finish. Antonio Leather, good lord, her jacket is glistening. Um, now, I'll, I'll admit, looking at it, it almost, right, it almost looks a little bit kind of... I, I don't think cheap is the right word, because it's clearly not cheap. If it was cheap, this would be like a, a plain, you know, finish without any gloss or whatever. But, like, it's so glossy that it almost looks like... I don't know, fake in a way or something? Obviously this isn't fake, this has just come out. And I do get my stuff from reliable sources. But as you can see, uh, much akin to all the things I love about capes, we've really got some kind of flowing stuff here. Now, the great thing about Black Rock Shooter is everything's over the top, everything's exaggerated, and so is this statue. Like, the wind that would cause this jacket to flow like that must be intense, and this jacket would have to be, like, incredibly thin. Uh, also, it's quite a long jacket, thinking of it, because, like, there's so much blown behind her. It must come down to, like, her knees or something, which is interesting. I don't remember that in the anime, to be honest. But, of course, it is very glossy. Now, unfortunately, I don't have great lights. I am just using my regular light, you know, like, room light. I do need to get better light for this, but I, I can say, in like, to the eye, this looks a bit better, I think. Uh, I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, really. It's, it's fine. Uh, so, next up, of course, we have the face. Now, something I have noticed about this statue, unfortunately, because it's kind of in such a dramatic pose, her face is kind of naturally darkened by any light that's not directly facing her face, if that makes sense. So I will have to kind of lean her. Now, admittedly, uh, you know, the, the face of Black Rock Shooter isn't really the main kind of draw. It's the outfit. The outfit is really cool. But, you know, we got a, we got a very nice um, a face there, along with, of course, her flaming blue left eye, which I really like. And I think that they've done it justice here. I think it, it's quite... It's a little bit understated. I would have maybe liked sort of maybe light blue paint, as in, like non-translucent paint, maybe to just kind of give it a few touches of, you know, kind of to draw the eye, but I don't know, maybe, again, I am just nitpicking a little bit. Also, um, we've got her hair, so her hair is just like raven black, of course, uh, and you know, it flows really nice, I think, it kind of, uh, you know, flows out and curves around and everything, uh, and as with this side as well. And of course, then, we move up to the thing that you've all been waiting for. The white stripes on her sleeves, uh, which, you know, which is a nice uh, touch. Again, they get the, um, you know, flow of sort of cloth done really well. Even even in the little bits like here, it still looks like it's flowing and it's not just one static piece, which I love. You can also kind of see the star there. Uh, her white star on the back of the jacket, that's kind of a iconic thing as well, uh, but as you'll see, her hands are kind of all around this massive fucking gun! Uh, so this is absolutely giant. Now obviously if you've seen either the music video or the OVA, you'll know that her weapon of choice 
uh, is a massive Gatling gun and they have not skimped on this. Honestly, this gun weighs more than she does. I mean, it's not hard to see, she's a small bit of plastic there. But uh, yeah, this is this is really nice. It's got a kind of metallic finish on it. It's um, it's mostly black, but it does kind of shine a little bit grey in the light, which I like. Uh, I mean, it's pretty basic. I I can't think of anything they could have done to make it pop any more. To be honest, uh, it does look a little bit dull. It sort of it, it strikes me as something like a gunpla weapon that you just want to add panel lining to, but it wouldn't do anything. Um, but you know, it, it's really nice they added this. To be honest, when I saw the preview picture, I don't remember seeing this gun. I just remember seeing her. So when when this came in the mail and I like unboxed it, I was like, oh my god, they've got a gun with her. That's amazing. So it's just a bonus for me, really. And honestly, it does draw the piece together a little bit. So I, it, it was a little bit finicky because it does come with an instruction manual that isn't fully clear. But basically... This pegs in down here, so there's two little pegs. Um, but then you've kind of got to get her hand between the holster of the Gatling gun before you peg it in. So you've got to kind of hang it on her arm a little bit and then peg it in. It feels a little bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. I originally had it uh, that side, so like away from her hand. But this, uh, I had to look up some images online to make sure I was doing it right. But this is it. So as you can see, like, one hand's pressing against there. And the other hand's kind of holding it in place as well. Like, this isn't going to move very much at all. Um, and honestly, I'm kind of glad because it gives a bit of stability as well. Because as you can see, the kind of lean of her is, um, I don't know, I, I'd feel a little bit not so sure if the gun wasn't there that eventually she might lean well that way really because um again she's not she's not the chunkiest of um of statues but yeah all together this looks very dramatic um honestly i can't wait to get start getting some photos of her but first there is one more thing we need to do and that is bring out dead master so after this transition it's time for the evil green zombie girl person Okay, here she is, Dead Master herself. So, um, this was a mild bit of a tricky one as well, but I'll get into that in a second. Uh, tricky that is to set up. But, of course, as with Black Rock Shooter, we shall take a look at the details uh, in detail. Uh, so, first off, I've got to give a massive props. I love the base. Now, admittedly, green is my favourite colour, so I am somewhat biased. But as you can see, it is a translucent green base. Obviously, this makes a lot of sense because green is Dead Master's, like, colour. Even though, to be honest, there's not a lot of green going on in the statue, uh, I've now realised. But, you know, it's um, it, it's still her thing. So this, honestly, this really makes her pop, I think. It, it's still why I think Black Rock Shooter should have had a pale blue one. But, eh, whatever. Anyway, let's take a look at her in detail. So we'll get back to the axe in a second. So, first off, we've got some more uh, high heel action. Or oh, Are they high heels? Yeah, uh, I guess they are. Um, but there she is in her... Basically, I've realised her, out her outfit is basically the opposite to Black Rock Shooter, who had long leather boots and then not much clothes. She has much clothes, but no ankles I guess so it's up to you guys do you prefer ankles or the rest of her body uh, that's a that's a statement I don't think uh, I'll be saying again either so we've got a kind of ruffles on the end of her kind of uh, trousery kind of things here three-quarter trousers or whatever uh, and then we have the kind of uh, dress uh, at the bottom there the kind of flowy uh, kind of gothic lolita kind of Thing going on uh, very nice and again like major props because the finish this has does make it look a lot more cloth like if that makes sense compared to the shininess of the black leather so you know big uh, big fan of that and then of course we move on to the things you cannot ignore her massive hands they are terrifying and also all kind of like spindly they don't look like they're moving right, uh, you know, that. 
it's, it's just it, it adds to the whole necromancer vibe of Dead Master. So this is set in kind of uh, shiny leathery kind of things. Are they leather gloves? Are they just shiny bits? Who really knows? Uh, so and we've got her hand there as well. And again, kind of adding to the uh, necromancer thing. Like her arm looks uncomfortably like long and twisted back but you know that's that's kind of the point of the character really uh, and then we have her like cool little skeleton devil wings is how i describe it i guess they're all kind of shiny and black but you know they don't have any feathers or anything to them but uh, and you know we got the split back of the dress of course for again you people of culture out there uh yeah and then we've got her other hand, which is wrapped around the base of the axe. We'll get into that in a second. Now, the thumb actually did cause me a little bit of concern because I didn't realise at first it was meant to go on her hand because the axe kind of had to bend. And then I also was looking up images and it seems her thumb does go in front of this. Uh, I had it with the kind of, um, with the stem there with her thumb pressing on it, but Every image I saw, the like stock photo image basically, had her thumb in front of this, so I kind of bent it behind. It felt a little bit weird. I wasn't fully into it, but you know, what, whatever. I uh, I did it anyway. Uh, and then, of course, we move on to um, the kind of top of her outfit or whatever. We've got a choker there. Uh, and then there is her face. So, unfortunately, you can't get an amazing angle, but... She has kind of grey green eyes, I guess, is how I describe them. Uh, again, the sort of the faces aren't like the most detailed I've seen on a popper parade, but uh, I, again, the like aesthetic of Black Rock Shooter is all about the costumes and the like weirdness of it and stuff. It's not necessarily about the faces. And of course, then we have her very iconic horns, which are really cool as well. I really like those there. They're kind of spinal or skeletal almost, but like they're clearly kind of demonic as well or whatever. It's, uh, and these are also glossy, which is, you know, big plus. And of course, the final thing, as I mentioned, is her axe. The kind of spine axe. Again, you know, just the necromancer vibe. It's incredible. Very big fan of this axe, like the paint work on it and stuff, because it's got that wash where it's like dark and a little bit dull it kind of looks used if that makes sense on this side and the shininess of the uh in inner most part of the axe as well it really kind of makes it stand out it catches the light but you know it also looks quite dark and then we got the little spinal motifs and everything there and it kind of curves as well so this is what threw me off because without putting it in her hand it kind of naturally just goes there but i thought that's really weird why would she be posing with like this bit of her axe in the ground then i realized oh she's meant to be holding it and of course we've got the tip there which is also kind of it matches the tips of her um horns really and yeah it's uh overall it is a beautiful piece it sort of it works just as well as black rock shooter and on that topic it is time now for me to bring her back and get to photographing these two so here is a montage of some shots from like different angles and stuff and hopefully maybe slightly better ones, their faces, because they are kind of covered, unfortunately, by their hair. Anyway, enjoy the montage, and I'll be back after it to give you, like, recap and conclusion to these two. So, BRB. Okay, I am back, and uh, I've taken some photos. I hope you guys enjoyed the montage. And um, honestly, that 
can that photo session made me, I think, appreciate them a little bit more, or even more, than I already did. Uh, just kind of picking up on all the vibes and everything. So I've got to say, one thing I did notice is that in the right light and the right way of looking at Black Rock Shooter, she does look a lot more blue than I first gave her credit for. I was, I was a little bit kind of concerned that it was just a sort of a hunk of black from that, you know, from that part on. But honestly, there is more colour going on than I think I originally gave it credit. As for Dead Master, I'm very happy with this statue. Um, this, I mean, it's reminiscent of, if you guys have also seen my other one, of Ruby, Ru Ruby Rose from Ruby. Um, they made a pop-up of her as well. It's got a her scythe and um, just something really cool about scythes, really, isn't there? And uh, I've definitely got both of the cool cool anime girl with the scythe kind of trope. Uh, I've also got a figma of Salty from Durarara, so that's three of them there. I guess I've got a type. But honestly, these are pretty darn good. Um, I, I'd say they're better than I expected, actually. So, as with Black Rock Shooter, as I mentioned, I either was I forgot or was unaware that she came with a gun. And I think it really does bring it together as she is on her own. You know, pretty cool statue anyway. She's got that look. I mean, they both look quite different to a lot of other statues. Their outfits and everything are just so out there. But honestly, the gun really pulls Black Rock Shooter together and kind of emphasises just the insanity of the series as well. The fact that the Gatling gun is as tall as she is. Taller, actually. Uh, and this with Dead Master, it's just everything's perfect. She looks just as creepy and weird and kind of skeletal as uh, she did in the series, honestly. And I'm really, really happy that Good Smile actually made these. Now, I know Good Smile and Hatsune, Hatsune Miku kind of, you know, they go hand in hand. Uh, so it's not a surprise they've done this, but still something really cool. That I'm glad they did get around to doing sooner rather than later, really. Don't know that. I am kind of hoping, uh, having discussed with my aforementioned friend Glenn about the Black Rock Shooter uh, statues, I kind of hope now they make Strength and uh, Black Gold Saw as well, because that would really pull everything together. Um, strength would be an interesting statue to make, because obviously her fists are so large, it would probably be like twice the size of these statues, really. But Honestly, it, I mean, if these do really well, I don't see a reason they wouldn't do that. Um, so yeah, if, if I had to recommend either of these, I'd say they're both as good as each other, to be honest. Now, I would be curious, actually, to see which turns out more popular. I mean, technically, that's just Hatsune Miku, but goth and weird absurdist. Um, so, I mean, part of me thinks she'll probably sell better, but I don't know. I think Dead Master just looks cool enough that I think people might end up just buying her because they're like, wow, that's a really cool design, you know? Uh, I mean, to be honest, if I hadn't seen Black Rock Shooter, I still would have probably been a little bit tempted by these anyway. So, yeah, that's, those are my thoughts. I think these are really strong. Um, in terms of where I'd place them with the other pop-up parades I've bought... I'd say they're about on level with the higher tier ones, like the Megumin, I really love that. Um, Kamina, as well, is fast becoming one of my favourites. And I think these are right up there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if there's something you're interested in, I personally would recommend getting them, because they're a great scale as well, they scale great together. I don't know about the other pop-ups, obviously, because every anime kind of has a bit of a different scale going on anyway. But still, they, they work. They look really good. And I think they are a bit of a conversation piece as well. They don't look like your typical anime girls, you know? Uh, but anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've bought either of these, um, or if you own any of the other Black Rock Shooter merch, I know there's been quite a few statues in the past. They've been super expensive, so I've not even really gone for it. But at this price point, I mean, why not, really? Um, but yeah, let me know if you do have any of the more expensive things and this one, how these compare. Is this good? Is this bad? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know your favourite Black Rock Shooter character. For me, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really generic, but I really like Black Rock Shooter. Or Strength. No, actually Strength, I think. I really like her because she's just a berserker. Just absolutely filled with wrath uh, and strength. 
But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will leave a playlist of my other statues um, by here somewhere on the screen. I recently did a Kamina and Simon from Gurren Lagan Pop-Up Parade double review, so if you want to check that out, that'll be in the playlist along with the all of the other pop-up reviews I've ever bought, uh, pop-up reviews? Pop-up parade statues that I've ever bought, along with some other uh, companies as well. I'll also leave you to make its own decision about what video to show you. Um, and that wraps it up, so thank you guys very much for watching. And until next video, goodbye.